Hey guys, today we're going to be doing a comparison between Evergood's CPL and CHZ lines of bags. In the past, I've taken a look at the 22 liter version of the CHZ. Here I have the larger and recently released 26 liter version. I've also done an in-depth video for the CPL 28, which is the larger version of the bag that I have here. And because I did in-depth videos for those and the feature set and layout between the two sizes of these bags are quite similar, I thought it would be more valuable to do more of a comparison between the two lines in case you're a little bit torn on which one might be best for you. I've enjoyed using both of these a lot. They're very well built. I really love their minimal aesthetics, but there are a few key differences that might determine which one will work better for your everyday usage. My name is Danny, and on this channel, we love reviewing popular travel and everyday carry gear. If you like these types of videos and you'd like to see more, please consider subscribing as it helps the channel out a lot. So with all that being said, let's go ahead and jump in. Kicking things off with the overall aesthetic, both of these have a really minimal vibe that feels like it's just gonna blend in well into a ton of different environments. These bags are meant to be used both in the outdoors and for your everyday for, as something that you can take into the office and their appearance is fairly similar. Along the front of the CPL line, you have a little bit more going on because you have this external zipper here so it just gives it some texture. The front of the CHZ bag is super, super plain, almost too plain for my liking. Both of them have the little Velcro patch where you can attach one of uh, Evergoods' patches or your own if you have something that you wanna customize it with, but I like that there's no sort of branding and that regardless of which one you pick, it's still just gonna be a very clean aesthetic overall. As far as the materials, the bags have the same build quality. They have a durable 500D nylon that feels like it's gonna hold up well to rougher usage. Unfortunately, the nylon on both bags does attract a lot of pet hair and dirt, so you're gonna to have to clean this up a lot, especially if you're like me and you have a dog that has white hair. It's really gonna show a lot on the bag, so I'm constantly having to clean it up. Don't really know how you can solve for that, and you know maybe that's not as big of a deal to you, but just something worth calling out. Regardless, the material feels durable. It's fairly lightweight, considering how rugged the bags are. And then you also have some very well-protected YKK zippers all throughout that have a DWR coating. Let's continue along with the similarities. Both bags have a similar harness system. They have these well-padded straps that Evergoods has become quite known for, so they're pretty thick. Unfortunately, neither one has any sort of meshy or breathable material to help prevent moisture from building up. But where they really excel is in this little fabric that comes out at the top, which allows it to come over your shoulders and it really feels like the bag is hugging you. So it just feels very comfortable, even though it doesn't have the breathability that I've seen on a lot of other bags that I've liked. The back paneling is also the same on both bags and it feels okay. There's a frame sheet on the inside, but unfortunately neither has any sort of you know elevation or meshy material. So again, this is something that's gonna get sweaty pretty easily. I really would love to see Evergoods find a way to handle this a little bit better on a future line of bags, but it still feels pretty comfortable overall, especially with how well this kind of molds to your back. And then as far as the dimensions, you know, the versions that I have here are the 26 liter CHZ and the 24 liter CPL. And both of these are able to hold a ton of stuff. Even the 22 liter version of this bag held an impressive amount of items. And this one just offers extra space. It's actually a little bit taller than the CPL 24. So if you're shorter and you're looking at the CHZ line, you may wanna consider the 22 liter version, you know, as this might feel a little bit tall. It's also, you know, about the same width. So they can hold a lot of stuff, both of them. 24 liters is really kind of my ideal everyday carry bag and also something that can work well for minimal travel. I just really like how this looks on my back while wearing them. Both of them maintain a pretty slim silhouette even when they're packed out. So, you know, they're gonna be great for navigating crowded areas, jumping onto public transit, riding a bike, or even for domestic and international travel. So just an impressive amount of capacity on both of them. I would say the CHZ26 can maybe hold a little bit more than the 24. Now we'll get into the actual layout in a bit, which is where the 24, in my opinion, excels because it has a clamshell style opening. But if you still want just a little bit more space, this is offered in a larger 28 liter version, which is the bag that I did the in-depth video for. And then one of the biggest differences between the two styles of bags is that the CHZ line has two external water bottle pockets. And this is 
You know, a big point for a lot of people, if this is a deal breaker, then it's really no contest because the CPL bags don't have any sort of water bottle pocket. If you wanna carry one with you, you have to place it on the inside or clip it onto one of the attachment points on the outside, which isn't always an ideal situation. So it's really nice that the half zips have these two external water bottle pockets, which are also very well implemented. They offer a ton of space and it's awesome that you have one on each side. So if you have a water bottle and maybe an umbrella that you wanna carry or something else that you wanna keep outside of the main area, this is a big selling point for the CHC version of the bag. Moving into the organizational options, this is another area where the bags start to differ quite a bit. Both have a nice quick access pocket on the top that's gonna to be a great spot for storing something like your sunglasses or some keys. They have a lanyard with a plastic clip and the layout on these is pretty similar. You're gonna have a little bit more space on the pocket in the CHZ26, but both offer plenty of volume and the layout on the Civic half zip is gonna be much simpler than the one on the CPL24. So you just have one quick access pocket on the CHZ bags and then everything else is kind of contained within the main area. Whereas on the CPL, you have a few additional externally accessible compartments. So you have on the side, the laptop pocket and I really love the implementation here as it allows you to get to it without opening up the whole bag. It also has the suspended laptop compartment that you can grab by the side handle. It's very easy to get your device in and out, particularly while traveling. And then you also have this quick access pocket on the front on the CPL, which has some internal organization. So you're gonna be able to just organize that with stuff like your wallet, your phone, some small knickknacks that you might wanna to get to a little bit more quickly. So it's nice that you have some separate compartments as opposed to having so much in one area with the CHZ. So that's more of a philosophical difference with how you like to organize. For me, I like to have a few additional spots, but both you know, still offer a lot of space. And even with the simpler organizational layout, the CHZ still works quite well. And then moving into the main compartments, you know, this is where you get into whether you prefer more of a top loading bag or a clamshell style bag. Both of them come with pros and cons. Generally, I prefer a clamshell style bag as it feels like you can fit a little bit more stuff in a smaller amount of volume. And it's also just a lot easier to organize everything, particularly if you wanted to use this for packing. It's great for putting in packing cubes and other pouches that you might wanna organize with. So I really love clamshell style bags, but they don't come without some disadvantages. So, you know, this is something that it could accidentally open and everything could fall out of the bag. I've heard people mention that if the zipper fails, you can't really use the main area as much anymore. Whereas, a top loading bag gives you a little bit more flexibility because if the zipper failed, you know, you could still maybe hold the bag up or it would still have a little bit of a pouch to keep everything in place. And even though the Civic Half Zip is more of a top loading bag, it's not a full clamshell style, it still opens up really wide. It's not a top loader in the same sense as something like the Tom Bin Shadow Guide 23, which we looked at recently. That's really just a bag that's a big bucket of space. It can get a little bit hard to see everything that's in the bottom because it's so deep. The zipper on this actually opens up wide enough to give you a lot of visibility to the inside. So it's a nice kind of compromise between having a full clamshell style and more of a top loading bag. And then diving into the interior of the bags, you know, the CHC has a much more simplified layout. It has just the one quick access pocket on the flap that is gonna offer a nice amount of space and it also prevents anything from falling down into the bottom that you might wanna grab a little bit more quickly. One of the changes between the CHZ26 and the smaller version is that Evergoods has added a small mesh zippered pocket in the middle of the flap to give you just some extra organizational options, just a little bit more separation. So it's nice that they included that. Hopefully that makes its way over to the 22 liter version because it's nice to have that additional pocket. Even if you don't wanna use it, it just kinda of stays out of the way, but it's a little bit of a bonus for going with the larger version of the bag. And then you also have um, a really nice internal laptop sleeve here. It's suspended and padded, so it really feels like your device is gonna be well protected. On both of these, it's great that when you're carrying the device, it doesn't really make it uncomfortable against your back. The bag still curves nicely the way that your back naturally does. It's not impeded by the device, so regardless of which one you get, that works quite well. Um, here with the CHZ, 
With the smaller version, I had some struggles getting a larger laptop out of the sleeve just because of the layout and because of the top quick access pocket. This is a little bit easier on the 26 liter because there's some extra space between the sleeve and the quick access pocket, but just something that you'll still wanna keep in mind, especially when the bag is a little bit more packed out. It can get unwieldy to kind of get your device out without knocking over some of the other items that might be near the top. And then you also have some lash points on the quick access pocket where you can attach items with a carabiner or you know any pouches that you might wanna configure with it or something like a pen or a multi-tool. And that's pretty much it for the Civic Half Zip. So very simple, again, you know, just providing a lot of space. It's a big bucket. It still works for throwing in a packing cube or some larger accessories. And then for the uh, Civic Panel Loader, you know, in addition to the clamshell style, you have some additional organization on the inside. So you have a similar quick access pocket on the top, very similar size to what we saw on the Civic Half Sip where you, know, you could put something like some sunglasses or toiletries. And then on the flap, you have another large mesh compartment, which has its own volume. That's one of the great things about Evergoods bags in general is that they're volume independent on their pockets. So you can use all of the pockets very easily and everything is gonna have its own space. So it's nice to have that extra mesh pocket here on the flap. You know, I use items such as the GoRuck wire dop or, you know, a jacket. They're gonna go in there nicely. And because of the uh, orientation of the zipper, you can swing the bag around and actually reach into that pocket when you need to. On the back of the main compartment here, you also have a nice little sleeve, which is gonna be a great spot for putting something like a tablet or, you know, for adding some separation for documents that you might have. That sleeve isn't necessarily padded, but it's a pretty soft material and it's nice that it just provides a little bit more organization in that larger main area. And then at the top, you have again, some lash points for something with a carabiner or some other accessories that you might wanna have with you. So, you know, a very nice layout here as well. Both of them keep things pretty simple. With the CPL24, you know, I love packing this out for minimal travel. There's just so much flexibility with what you can store, even though it doesn't have that external water bottle pocket, for EDC, I do have to toss that in here, which I'm not crazy about, but you know, both are just great. And depending on your individual packing style, you can see which one works best for you. So my kind of takeaways from, you know, looking at the two and testing them both out are if you're somebody who likes a clamshell style bag and you don't care as much about water bottle pockets, then the CPL is going to be the way to go. If you really need a water bottle pocket or you just prefer a simpler layout and don't really like the risk of a zipper failure rendering your bag useless, then the CHZ might be worth taking a look at instead. Regardless, I highly recommend both of them if you're interested in a really minimal everyday bag that's gonna last you for a long time. And so you can currently purchase these bags on Evergood's site or Huckberry starting at about $210 for the CHZ26 and $260 for the CPL24. And that's definitely a bit of an investment for everyday bags, but these are very solidly built and they're gonna offer a lot of value for the price point. And I'm definitely curious to hear what you guys think of the differences between the two lines and which one you actually prefer for yourself. Also, if there are any dream matchups that you would like to see me feature on the channel, just kind of comparing these or other bags together, if you like this style of video, let me know what you would like to see. And I wanna thank you as always for watching and supporting the channel. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a like, and if you haven't already, please go ahead and subscribe so you don't miss any upcoming videos, and we'll see you in the next one.